Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and the third of the Alchemy Guides. And in this video, we'll be looking at the Purity Perk, which indeed is the pinnacle of all the perks in the Alchemy skill tree. And it simply removes all negative effects from created potions and all positive effects are removed from created poisons. Now, to get this perk, you'll need 100 skill points in Alchemy. So the question everyone asks is, is this perk worth it? And the answer isn't particularly helpful, I'm afraid. It really isn't essential to take this perk, unless, of course, you're making alchemy a major part of your character's build, which to rent my character, and also actually my next character build, will. Or if you're role-playing a certain type of character. And if I'm brutally honest, this is the first time I've ever bothered with it. But I've also never really explored alchemy properly. And I also never realised how much alchemy can change how you play the game and I personally will definitely be using it from now on. Really, that's all there is to say about this perk. Now, I'll be doing this video a little differently by covering how to go legendary and regain the three points put into Experimenter, that's something that I hope you do. And then I'll show 13 potions that are most certainly worth making in my opinion, including some that can only be made with this particular perk. And this part of the video will have no commentary, I'm sure you'll be delighted to hear, so just pause on anything you find interesting, and here's their timestamps for future reference. Okay, just before we start, I just have to say, if you're new to Skyrim and or Alchemy, please watch my first video in the series. I will be leaving links in the video description of several really useful sites to look at. These cover every aspect of Alchemy, so make sure you check them out. And for those of you that have the rare Curios mod, my next and last Alchemy video is de dedicated just to that. And honestly, boy, I never knew how good that mod is, so uh, make sure you catch it. So I'm assuming you've watched my previous videos and we've got all the basics of Alchemy under our belt, so I won't bother going over them all again. And I'm assuming you've maxed experiment to perk and eaten most, if not all, the ingredients in the game. Now, a few things I'd strongly recommend before you start this process is first, make the best alchemy gear you can before going legendary. Second is hit the thief stone to get the learning bonus. And third is to sleep in your own or an inn's bed to get the world rested bonus. So let's get to it. Now, after you've gone legendary, you'll want potions to level up. And the ingredients I'd suggest are the following. The first recipe is Dragon's Tongue, Fly Amanita, Mora Tapanella. The second recipe is a Butterfly Wing and Tundra Cotton. The third recipe is Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower and Wheat. And the fourth and final recipe is Blue Mountain Flower, Hanging Moss and Lavender. Now, I always suggest these recipes as these ingredients are really common and found around Whiterun Hold and Solitude. Hanging Moss is found in all the uh, catacombs, by the way. And by using these, you won't be wasting your valuable, valuable and rare ingredients. Of course, if you've got other ingredients for other potions, then use them if you wish. Okay, all that being said, let's crack on. Okay, here we are in our little uh, alchemy room and we've got our gear on, so let's go legendary. And we said, most of you guys know this anyway, I'm teaching you to suck eggs, I know. Uh, so we just go into alchemy. And that's why we want those three perks back. And that's the one we want. So I'm not sure what it is if you're on a uh, Xbox or PS4, but certainly if uh, on a PC, you just hit your spacebar. And we choose yes. Now I've got a little mod. It'll actually ask you twice, this is good. Um, I've got a mod that when you go legendary, you don't drop straight down to the 15 points or 10 points or whatever it is. Uh, this actually leaves your residual skill at 30. Not that it makes much difference in alchemy. Okay, so we've done all the rest thing. We've got the Thief Stone done. And all we can do is hit a little potion, a load of potions and level ourselves back up again now the one thing to do is remember put the perks into alchemy again as that perk becomes available to you okay and that will increase the speed 
Oh, you're leveling up. Okay, so once you've done that, keep remember to put your perks in. And eventually, the magical video, it only takes a few seconds. And we just hit the last few levels. And there, and there you are. 400. 401. Now, obviously, don't ignore all the prices and everything you'll see on this, okay, guys? Because uh, we all get different value out of our potions, depending on their gear and whatnot. Um, so. And just there you go. Up to 100. Fantastic. So, once you've got to level up again, uh, going to health magic is really good now. And you see there, I put all my perks back in set, so we go to the phys physician. And the benefactor. And for this particular build, the poisoner, which is essential. Concentration poison and for me green thumbs. You don't you choose whichever perks you want. And the most useful of all, snake blood. <laughs> Gotta have that one afraid. And at last we got the purity perk. Okay, we are now fully qualified alchemists. Let's go and make some stuff.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the bell next to the subscribe button, after you subscribed, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.